Hey guys, I'm Brian. I'm Terry. And welcome back to another episode in our Forest of Farm series here on Survival Dispatch. Today we're kicking off episode three in our PPE series with Scott from Husqvarna, and we'll be talking about gloves today. Those are huge. Yes, definitely. I went a lot of years doing construction and whatnot <laughs> outside in the weather and red mud and whatnot. And Before I came along to help him out. Yeah, he's made me do things that I needed to do. I made him years. spend money. Yeah, I don't like spending money. <laughs> but I would just beat my hands up. I went to the doctor one time to get a finger sewed up where I got it cut pretty bad. And he literally had to get a bigger needle. He said, I cannot make this needle penetrate your skin. He said, you've got alligator skin. And I had just beat my hands up so bad. And like I said, the red mud, just dry them mm -hmm. out. And they were just like sandpaper, you know. Always. Always, yeah. Throughout the winter. And uh, even in they, the summer, you get around. Oh, yeah. You know, it just All the work we've done, on your hands. they would dry you out. Yeah, yeah. So it's worth a pair of gloves. I mean. Yeah, it really is. And the protection factor for cuts and scrapes and just general use. You use your hands every day. It's worth the investment to put good gloves on your hands. And think about your wife or girlfriend. Do they really want to feel sandpaper when you touch them? Yeah. Or and like the grandbaby. Yeah, my son. I mean, when he's a little tiny, he baby. would not want to have sandpaper holding him. It's just not. Right. Right. <laughs> it's not a comfortable feeling. Get a pair of gloves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's about all there is to this, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video with Scott. Hey guys, Brian here with Forest Farm Project. Today we're going to be with Scott Martin from Husqvarna and he's going to be taking us through some gloves and personal protective equipment when you're using chainsaws and we've got some really good stuff here. Why don't you tell us a little bit, a little bit about yourself, Scott? Sure. Thanks, Brian. Scott Martin with Husqvarna. I've uh, been with the company for about 25 years. Um, I'm a sales rep for upstate South Carolina. Prior to that, I was in training for a number of years, so got a lot of knowledge about this and other products we're talking about. All right. So what are we looking at today? Obviously, it's gloves, but yep. a lot so, of different kinds. Yeah. So today I wanted to kind of... Uh, profile some of the gloves that we have so over here on the far right um, what you'll see is we call our extreme grip gloves mm -hmm. these are dipped mm -hmm. uh, just kind of a basic glove from, yeah. a, from a grip standpoint so um, you know there, there's a lot of if you go into the mass channels there's a lot of these types of gloves that are mm -hmm. that are sold in the marketplace yeah uh, very cost effective but mm -hmm. they do a great job yeah and it gives you good grip it does and it it's does. a nice lightweight glove that's going to breathe well mm -hmm but it gives you some good versatility yeah. and protection. It's kind of cool looking too. Yeah, you know? very easy to find if you drop them on the ground. Very much. <laughs> the next set that you see there, uh, this is the functional work glove. So mm -hmm. this is a, this is just a step up from the, uh, the, the extreme grip glove. Mm -hmm. So it's a good work glove. Uh, it's not a, the, the traditional style of uh, jersey type leather yeah. glove that you would see. So it is more fashionable. It does breathe mm -hmm. um, and it's lightweight but it does have a good heavy duty palm, so you've got some uh, resistance to abrasion and things like that. Yeah, and this is really my favorite type of glove because it's easy on, easy off with that mm -hmm. fast fit function. It just, I like it. Yep, yep. Really versatile. Yep, and this pair here is basically the same as those. It's just mm -hmm. a different size. Uh, this The pair that we have here is uh, a brand new design for us, and it is called the Technical Winter Glove. So it's, a, it's an insulated glove. Um, it, it, it looks great, mm -hmm. but it's got the Velcro enclosure and it is insulated. Um, so um, this would be a good wintertime glove if you happen to be out in the woods. Mm -hmm. right. It really feels like a good grip on there too. That's going to give you a lot of absolutely a lot of positive grip on whatever mm -hmm. you're holding. And this pair right here that I wanted to show and, and highlight is a chainsaw protective mm -hmm. uh, design. And what you'll see is if you look at it, the let the back of the left hand here mm -hmm. is much more. Uh, I guess built up, if you will. Very compared, robust. Yeah, compared to the right hand. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Well, chainsaws are right-handed. That is correct. So chainsaws are designed to be used in a right-handed application. So we know that there's going to be a situation where if you're using a saw, mm -hmm. if you had to, you know, take your hand off to block yourself or something mm -hmm. like that, leaves your left hand exposed. Yeah. That's in the area of the chainsaw bar. Mm -hmm. So in the case like uh, with this particular pair of gloves here, it gives some of the warp knit nylon material that we talked about in one of the previous um, uh, talk when we were talking about chaps. Yeah. And I'll show you what that is. Basically, you've got some layers of this material, this nylon material, mm -hmm. that if the, if the saw came in contact with it, what it will do is it'll, it'll rip open the, uh, the, the covering here, if you will, and it will pull out some of that nylon material. Mm -hmm. Well, that stuff will get into the chainsaw and gum it up. Uh, and gum it up. It, yeah. it stops it pretty quickly. Now, keep in mind that with a with a you know with an area this small, yeah, it's not like you have a ton of material <laughs> yeah. in there to, to yeah. utilize. 
but it's better than no material at all. Without a doubt. And, and, it, and it will work. And so I wanted to highlight what that was and just show how that warp net nylon material uh, works and, and is utilized in a chainsaw protective glove. That's really a good idea. And like I say, it's not a huge amount of protection, but it's far better than nothing on your hand at all. Absolutely. And the whole purpose for gloves that we talk about in chainsaw safety is because a lot of times you're using a saw, uh, if the environment, if it's warm, mm -hmm. you're going to sweat, right? Mm -hmm. You get, you get, your hands get wet and all of a sudden you lose your grip yeah. with, uh, with any, any kind of glove, any kind mm -hmm. of glove is better than, than really no glove at all. Um, but uh, obviously, if you're using a chainsaw application, we would definitely prefer chainsaw protective gloves. But again, um, in, 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 in amount of taking away some of the, uh, the perspiration and things like that, it would offer uh, some, some better protection just from you know, losing, your, losing your grip on oh, the saw. Oh, definitely. And keep, keep good dexterity while you're working. Mm -hmm. So definitely a good yep. idea. All right, you got some great options there. Thank you so much. And I've got to say, thank you so much for helping us with this series. It, we've learned so much information so far, and I can't wait to see where we go from here. Good deal. Thank you. Well, guys, that's about it for this one. If you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button below. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when new videos come out. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Have a good one. Have a good one.